So I'm so excited to have Jack Sisson here today, who is a longtime teacher and coach and principal, and uh, he's going to talk a little bit about how he knows Rick Locke. Well, this is a very special occasion for me. Fifty-nine years ago, this past September, Quinney opened its doors for the very first time, and I had the good fortune of being its first boys' physical and health education teacher. And during that time, we had many outstanding athletes, student athletes, come to the school. And I'm sure that trend has continued to this present day. And a few years after the school opened, a very few years after, a young man by the name of Ricky Locke arrived at the school. And he turned out to be one of those super athletes for us. He excelled in football, he excelled in basketball and track. Not only was he an outstanding athlete, he was an outstanding person as well. Everybody enjoyed Rick, uh, Rick the students, his fellow students, the teachers, the principals, the coaches. He got along well with everybody. When he graduated from Quinty, he went on to McMaster University and graduated in physical and health education and returned to Quinty as a phys ed teacher. And I coached with him and taught with him and we had a great time together. He taught probably in his day, hundreds and hundreds of students here at Quinty, and dozens of basketball teams and, fo and football teams, and did a great job. So it's probably most fitting that this gym should be named after Rick. He has spent probably more time in the gym as a student, as a student athlete, as a teacher, and as a coach than any other person connected with uh, Quinty. He's done a great job, and we're all very proud of him. We wish him the very best, and we're excited that this school should name its gym the Rick Locke Gym. The very best, Rick. <laughs>